second month of February. Lord, have mercy. The second month of February. This is an epidemic and our government is doing nothing about it. Pump it up. We are sick and tired of these mothers crying for their loved ones. Pump it up, Elder. I should not have to be able to tell my son if a police behind him to put his hands out the window. Pump it up, Elder. I just don't make any sudden move. Yeah. Enough is enough, and it's going to start here all over America. Hallelujah, yeah. man. This small town here, we are going to march to Washington, D.C. We're going to bring every state, a, a, every city along with us. Hallelujah, man. Yeah. We'll it. We cannot take this no more. We That's cannot right. live Amen. in fear in America anymore. Amen. Hallelujah, man. The yeah. black man is the, is, is, is the, the cause of death. One of the cause of death is police shooting. Lord, have mercy. One out of every thousand black men can expect to be shot down by policemen. Talk, sir. That is very sad. Yeah. Very sad. And guess what? They are getting a passage to do this. They're very sick of Salem convicted in any court in America. Yeah. I didn't expect to uh, be talking today, but uh, I came prepared. Uh, Hallelujah. So I have a question, um, and I want y'all to ask this question. I, I'm here because I have questions, and I want those, I uh, hope those questions can be answered. Uh, but I want y'all to say, why are you here? Why are, are you, you here? here? Say it again. Why, why are, are you here? here? I'm here because I read. In the book of Genesis, that God breathed his spirit into Adam. That same breath that was breathed into Adam's nostrils is in every one of our breaths. Amen. The breath of God resides in every man, every woman that come from the seed of Adam. That's all of us. Amen. It up. I read very soon in that same account. A brother on, goes to his brother. He's jealous of his brother. He kills his brother, and God asks, where is your brother? Amen. All right. His response is, am I my brother's keeper? Yeah. I'm here to answer yes. Yeah. Yeah. We are all our yeah. brother's yeah. keeper. Yeah. Yes, sir. Every single one of us. Yeah. If one of us suffers, oh. all of us suffer. This is 2020. There's been injustice in our country for far too long. Amen. I was just reading in a South Carolina history book that was written in 1920 about the origin of police departments. That's some truth. The truth, the Bible says the truth will set you free. That's some truth that needs to be spoken. We know the origin of police departments comes from slave patrols. That's right. So if we're going to have justice 
It's time for police departments across the nation, not just in Chester, but across the nation, to realize the systemic racism that was built into their institutions. Packing up my car yesterday on the way up here, I took my three-year-old son's car seat out of the car, aside from the fact that it was full of crumbs <laughs> and it would need a vacuum cleaner to clean it up. It dawned on me, as a parent, I worry a lot about my three-year-old son. But there's one thing I have never worried about and will never worry about. That's him being shot and killed by a police officer. Come on, tell it. A person who is sworn to serve and protect. Well, I know I don't have to tell anybody here the same cannot be said for my African-American brothers. Amen. They, Talk, sir. they carry with them every day whether at work, Tell him with that. whether at friends' homes, or on the street. They carry with them the fear Tell him. of law enforcement officers. That's they right. carry with them the fear for their own children. Tell him. Sir, can you clarify uh, the amount of monetary damages the suit is seeking against the city and against Walmart? Well, in, in any complaint, um, you your prayer for relief <laughs> is what it's called. You don't ask for a specific specific monetary amount. You ask for uh, all of the damages that the family is entitled to under the law. Uh, so in this lawsuit that my office filed this morning, we did not make a specific uh, monetary demand because at this point, uh, that is for a jury to determine how much justice his family is entitled to, if at all. But I'll tell you this, the last civil rights case I tried I tried in the federal courthouse in Charleston, South Carolina, and the verdict was 97 and a half million, which was the largest contested civil rights verdict in U.S. history. Based upon what I know today, this case is worse than that case. Mm. Would this be a case that would be subject to mediation before it gets to jury trial? Or are you, are you saying we want to skip past that and go to the jury trial? Or Under our court rules, any lawsuit that is filed uh, is required to undergo mediation, uh, which certainly we will. Um, and because the complaint has been filed, you know, we can't comment much on the facts of the case, um, but the pleading itself uh, outlines our allegations at this point and know that we'll be prepared for whatever defenses they have and whatever arguments they make.